Hi there. Disableism is bigotry against and mistreatment of disabled people. Some groups of disabled people get far worse treatment from society than other so-called marginalized groups. Now two young people, Cody and Veronica, worked together to produce videos. They claimed to be married. Veronica did most of the speaking while Cody sometimes talked or was featured silently. Here were some popular comments on their former channel. Is your boyfriend fantasizing about shooting up a school the whole time you guys filmed this? Five likes. Your husband was given too many vaccines as a child. Six likes. Yet there's no link between vaccines and genetic disabilities. What's Cody's favorite part about killing small animals? Six likes. Why does the guy stare at us like a creep? Six likes. She definitely gets abused. Six likes. LOL, her boyfriend slash husband in all her videos seem like a robot. Nine likes. Your husband is a dirty cinder sucker and an awkward loser. Eleven likes. An autist blatantly acting like an autist. Twelve likes. WTF with this guy. Fourteen likes. Who's the hairy werewolf cuck next to you? GD, he weird looking. Fifteen likes. Your boy looks like a school shooter. Nineteen likes. He has ass burgers. Twenty-four likes. Seems like a codependent or abusive relationship. Whatever it is, seems dysfunctional. 25 likes. 100% Cody is awkward autist. I don't understand how Evalian can't see that. Starting to think she's also broken. 30 likes. Spurgs can't experience the nuances of human relationships. They usually only act out what they see others doing or become enraged with violence when their twisted minds can't process the information. 33 likes. Not only is this false, it is libel. Uh, that is written defamation aimed at harming someone's character. It can sometimes be grounds for a lawsuit. I go on here. It goes on. Your baby is going to have some serious ass burgers. 41 likes. That dude is clearly not all there, for F's sake. 57 likes. He looks dead inside. 69 likes. Wow, does that guy look awkward. Looks like a serial killer or some shit. He also comes across as pretty simple. 87 likes. <clears throat> and someone made posts about Cody titled Autistic Moments 1 through 4, which got a total of 113 likes. Your friend looks like he suffers from severe retardation. 124 likes. That nigga gives me the school shooter vibe. 130 likes. She's really cute. Makes me sad that her boyfriend is a little off. 137 likes. Are you oh, 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 autistic? Yes, I am. 688 likes. And 50 other nasty comments. Cody also made a video of his own, but removed it due to the incredible amount of insults and overwhelming negative responses. There would likely be 10 times the bad comments and likes to them if their channel didn't get terminated after less than a year, uh, their YouTube channel, for no, gr no good reason whatsoever because of YouTube, uh, the crazy censorship. I, m I might get similar responses if I didn't read off a paper in my videos, which helps me disguise my disability. And we are certainly born this way 100%. Some people, including me, get hate comments. Well, I haven't get it, any comments lately, but when I got comments, I, I did get hate comments such as go kill yourself or drink bleach. Uh, but that's due to our, uh, for, any, for me anyway, it's due to my con con controversial viewpoints, uh, which are, are ex I express on the internet, uh, not, not who I am as a person. Therefore, uh, I can take that with a grain of salt. But again, I read off a piece of paper, and it disguises uh, my functioning, I'm, you know. Uh, yet shunning and mistreatment based on who we are inherently is completely unacceptable. You're born this way, uh, nobody should be disputed. If you dispute that, you're, you're insane. Um, that's the fact. Now you who claim... Now, for you who claim to be victims of bigotry and mistreatment, 
whether black, Hispanic, female, Jewish, atheist, neo-pagan, lesbian, gay, etc. I ask a question. Does your status cause you to get even close to the amount of disrespect on the internet that Cody got? For example, many men, though highly intelligent, over 40 and having college degrees, are stuck making minimum wage and can never get a date, let alone marriage equality. Uh, so, is your mistreatment as bad as that? Or worse? If the answer is no, then take your claim of suffering unfairness and... Now, you who claim to be a victim of bigotry and mistreatment, whether black, Hispanic, female, Jewish, atheist, lesbian, gay, etc., 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 I ask another question. Does your status prevent you from finding a respectable mate? Does it? Does it prevent you from having a decent job, a having adequate food and housing? If the answer is no, then take your claim of suffering unfairness and <laughs> furthermore, sit down and shut up forever. Then we have bigotry and mistreatment based on physical irregularities. Quote, quoting from Tolstoy's Cruder Sonata, It is amazing how complete is the delusion that beauty is goodness. Consider Adam Pearson, who has great facial deformity from tumors, who starred in the sci-fi movie Under the Skin. He is featured in numerous internet videos, which I recommend that you see. Persecution against those with physical deformities starts in childhood. Other children bully, mock, and exclude them. Failure to secure any healthy human relationship or suitable job often follows. Now a question to those who cry, you who cry about unfairness toward blacks, Hispanics, women, Jews, gays, etc., etc., do you give an exorbitant amount of time to these so-called marginalized groups while, think about it now, while saying nothing about disabledism? If so, take your rhetoric and... And shape up or rotten hell. Even more psychotic is that others who respect handicapped people and handicapped people themselves both unfairly discriminate against others with unfamiliar handicaps. For example, I signed up for a disabled dating club. Besides handicaps like paralysis and cerebral palsy, this club welcomed a man with a mental condition, Asperger's, who was high-functioning and had no other handicap. They even had a statement of affirmation that you were expected to agree with. It was this, I quote, I am not racist, sexist, homophobic, or transphobic, discriminatory against disabled or disfigured people, nor disrespectful to men or women. Yet the administrator messaged me back with, Sorry, sir, but we don't accept people with severe learning disabilities. How bizarre! I, I never encountered anything more hypocritical or contradictory outside of camera, candid camera or the twilight zone. This bizarre marginalization is ungodly. So sh shape up or, or, or go to hell. Wake up already.